here. Well, our final presentation of the, this session, uh, actually of the day here in Imagine Park, is from a new company called Catch Media, a very new company, uh, headed by a cable veteran named Nick Chakalos. Nick uh, is uh, president of, of Catch Media. He's been with the uh, cable industry for a dozen years or more. And I'd like to introduce Nick to tell us a little bit about uh, Catch Media. Welcome. Hey Thank you. Go to it. Thank you. Great. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Nick Chocolis, president of Catch Media. And we are a cloud technology company that has really pioneered putting entertainment into the cloud. Uh, we have customers um, in, in the operator space with retailers, studios, device manufacturers. And those customers are located around the world, in the US, in the UK, in Japan, and in India. And for those customers, we've solved a couple of major challenges for them. First and foremost, how can they enable their consumers to gain access to content, content that might be in a physical form, or it might be a cable uh, TV subscription? How do we enable them to get the access to that content on any screen or any speaker, any device they happen to be carrying? And secondly, from a rights holder's perspective, how do we provide visibility into content as it's delivered and as it's consumed, such that those rights holders can, one, get paid, and secondly, gain insight into how their product and content is being consumed so they can make improvements. And once they begin to learn enough about their customer base, how do you provide them the tools such that they can actually personalize and target campaigns back to those customers uh, to sell more content? We have a team that has developed complex ecosystems and clearing houses in the past, and they have developed a smart cloud a system called uh, Play, our Play Anywhere platform. The platform it enables a number of different uh, solution types. And those solutions uh, are built out of a few different uh, core components. One of those components is a registry system that understands uh, a consumer's devices. It understands what rights a consumer has to content. It understands, with respect to those devices, what forms and formats can or cannot be supported. Secondly, there's a routing function that if Gary here wants to have his content streamed to him, it will determine the most efficient means of routing that content to Gary based on the device he happens to have, based on the network he happens to be sitting off of. The, a third element is a tracking system, which will then track to great granularity what is being consumed for how long and what type of device in what uh, geography. And the fourth is a clearinghouse system that based on the value chain that's established when that content is delivered to Gary can dynamically uh, calculate and disperse payments related to the consumption and delivery uh, of that content. Those fundamental pieces are utilized by a number of, of different products and services that we've built. Uh, one type of service is an access service, which again enables you to gain access to your content wherever you happen to be. Another are, is insight uh, service that allows you to understand uh, the consumption of, of that content. And the third being campaign tools that allow you to build targeted uh, promotions that can be delivered back, back to the customer base. And it's important to note as well that these insights that we, that we gain can obviously apply in the case of a single uh, vertical, such as a, a cable network. So if, if, again, sorry Gary to use you, but if you're watching Mad Men at home, and we were able to see that Gary is watching Mad Men, we might make a, a, a promotion to him based on uh, some similar piece of content. However, we can also span across different, uh, different verticals or different clouds, such that if I happen to see a consumer that is listening to children's music and may have just purchased an ebook, uh, a children's ebook, I might promote them the Yogi Bear movie on, on VOD that night so that we can span again across, um, across the silos or across the clouds to use today's lingo. So, as you can see, our Play Anywhere platform can enable a number of different products and service types for our end customers. And I encourage you to come visit us uh, just outside the doors here to see a demonstration of the types of services and solutions we can enable uh, for you all. 
I appreciate your time and welcome your questions uh, after the show's over. Good. Well, Nick, you've made a great presentation and obviously we invite people again who are in the hall to take a look at your demo over here. You talk, and thank you, I can't wait to use it myself. Thanks for giving me the opportunity. But the, the big question is, how, how do you distribute this? I mean, it's a convergence project, product. You need the uh, affiliation of a number of different players in a value chain. How, how will you go about recruiting that for the whole value chain to implement the service? Right, you certainly hit on a key, on a key piece of that. One of the challenges is certainly in ensuring that you have a product that can enable all of these folks to work together dynamically, if you will, to deliver, to deliver content. Part of um, the underlying premise here is a clearinghouse system that is able to uh, disperse payments to each members of the ecosystem so that they're incentivized to participate in any kind of, any kind of offering. And, and that will be organizations that are already in place for other payments process. Uh, uh, that's correct. Uh, organizations that are already delivering services to consumers and looking at this as an augmentation to what they currently deliver. Well, now, where, where in the uh, development process do you stand right now? You've got your funding, I believe. Are you looking for more? We're looking for more, yes. So again, the line will form to give you yeah, and the right. others the checks. We are looking, certainly looking for more, for more funding, but we do have deployments in the, in the US, uh, in the UK, in Japan, and India, with products that enable access in addition to, to uh, products that enable campaigns and promotions to be delivered. What, what kind of timetable do you see working out uh, for, for the next wave of deployment? Uh, we have deployments coming up starting in the third and fourth quarter of this year, new, okay. new deployments. In the U.S.? Uh, in different parts, of, uh, different parts of the world. Okay. Uh, so U.S. Is, is included in that different parts of the world. Okay, well, we'll, we'll hear more about that as well. Now, now uh, how big a team do you have developing this right now? We heard the previous ones have two and a half, three people. We've actually have been established for a few years, so we have dozens. Dozens of people. All here in the Boston area? Uh, we, are, we are scattered. We have an R&D uh, facility in Israel. Um, I have an office in Beverly Hills. I have uh, an office in New York and uh, some, some uh, people here I in I noticed your card says Beverly Hills, <laughs> but you're here. But I'm here, but I'm here, yeah. Okay. Now, at the cable show, and again, unlike our two other presenters on this, you have been at the cable show a few times. Not enough to win a golf uh, game. Not long enough, unfortunately, <laughs> no. But, but uh, what's been the response, or what do you see here at the cable show that's appropriate for where Catch Media is moving next? Right, well, we see the, the challenge of rolling out TV everywhere is having multiple, uh, multiple uh, issues to contend with, and we help solve a few of those. So we have dialogue ongoing uh, with folks in the MVPD community, uh, to use a new, yeah, buzz, now, a new on, buzzword. Yeah, that's a huh? buzzword that not everybody knows. Multi-channel yeah, video yeah. program distributor. Something like that. We gotta be something like that. And, the, so, and so, right, we, we have conversations going on with uh, a, a number of operators in, in this area for different aspects of our, our solution. Some have different challenges, as you may, as you may expect. And so we have a pretty comprehensive solution that's modular enough to sell a piece to one operator that, and another to another. But th this allows operators to have a, a standard, uh, use a standard platform for a number of different services. Yeah, that's correct. Which that's seems correct. to be a, a very big selling point for what you have. Uh, absolutely right, absolutely. Okay, so we'll hear more about Catch Media as the, as the year goes on. You'll say you have some more distribution coming up. Uh, what's the message you want to leave our audience with today? Last word about why catch media is so important to the future of cable. Sure, uh, we, we help solve some significant challenges that currently exist with respect to gain, helping your consumers gain access to content and really helping monetize content as it flows. Monetizing it for you, but also importantly monetizing it for the, the rights holders who own that content. So the whole value chain benefits and the viewer gets something extra. That's right, that's right. Sounds like a winning deal. Win-win. Thank you very much. Thank you.